Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and this is a prophecy for Heidi. Heidi just happens to be um, a favourite name of mine, Heidi Baker, is famous evangelist in Mozambique, famous uh, missionary in Mozambique and um, she's of IRS Ministries, I-R-I-S Ministries and you can look her up. Uh, she's got your name and um, there's another young girl, she used to be about 12 or 13 that I prayed for her to have the gift of prophecy and uh, she prophesied this beautiful prophecy over me once I've prayed the prayer and um, really touched me and made me cry and um, so Heidi's a very special name I um, get a letter um, here, just um, a blank letter um, and I write the names of the people I'm going to prophesy over and then I tick um, I tick off the names um, as I do them I tick the names off um, but you'll notice by your name Heidi there there's four ticks and um, as I was doing another word I just was ticking and um, you're um, it's sort of got prophetic significance because um, everyone else on the page um, on this page and uh, on other pages um, have just got one tick but your name's got four ticks and you're four times the person that uh, of an average person um, I feel you've got real strength of character uh, you really um, know who you are in Christ and uh, you know uh, that you're blessed and uh, you're um, you got this uh, real attractive um, sold out spirit uh, to the Lord uh, it's a really attractive um, uh, it's not just the, the name it must just come with the name I don't know what Heidi means but it um, must just come with the name that the three Heidi's I know are just beautiful people and um, I've just got this uh, love uh, welling up in me uh, for you um, and it comes from God because I don't know you and um, it's it just um, it's amazing that as I was doodling here I ticked your name four times and it's just an amazing um, uh, sign that you, you're supernatural that uh, you, you're born to do supernatural things um, you've um, considered uh, before uh, the verse where Jesus said uh, even greater things you shall do in my name and you've pondered that verse and you've uh, said uh, I want to be one of those people that do the greater things um, not out of any self-importance it's not out of anything that you want to puff yourself up and become someone special but uh, you want to minister to other people and um, you want to be used by the Lord powerfully. Um, if someone comes in deaf, you want to be able to heal that deaf person. If someone comes in blind, you want to lay hands on the person and heal their blindness. And um, it's interesting that um, you've uh, got a. Um, uh, the Lord tells me a quirky sense of humour. I don't really understand what quirky is, but um, you're a person who um, likes likes to play uh, practical jokes and uh, and uh, um, there's really strange words of knowledge um, you, you like to receive practical jokes and you like to, uh, to do them you're not uh, very good at um, at thinking them up um, not as good as some people but you certainly are amused when people do them to you and uh, you've just got this um, under believable uh, I don't know if it's untapped um, uh, desire uh, untapped potential to be a worshipper um, I'm not sure if you lead worship in your church but um, you've just got this uh, intimate um, powerful relationship with Jesus and uh, he loves you for it and he he, he loved right back at you and um, I um, the finest compliment I can pay a girl is uh, that um, that uh, I'd uh, commit to a girl 
um, and um, you're the sort of a girl that uh, I'd commit to um, and uh, all, all you girls are really young and I'm really old so I'm not talking about um, that in, in the actual sense in the physical sense and um, God's promised me when I'm going to get a wife and it's not till after July this year so um, so I'm not talking about that but um, I look for as a prophet I, and someone who's going to be called into ministry full time one day I look for someone who's totally sold out and passionate for the Lord and not into the things of the world and the lust of the world and all the best things in the world but into an intimate close relationship with Jesus Christ and I only want to do his will and I only want to serve him just a laid down humble lover of Jesus Christ and that's who you are and uh, Jesus uh, really 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 loves you you know he really adores you and um, he um, he he uh, wants to uh, pass a personal message on to you um, seeing as uh, uh, just looking at the time seeing as he's got me here and uh, he's got me in a good mood um, I'll just add the fifth tick to your box how's that you've got five ticks now um, so uh, Jesus says um, I love you Heidi I loved you uh, when you're a little girl and even when you begin to dance I loved you uh, I loved seeing you dance I love to see you still worship now um, I love uh, the, the unabashed love that you have for me the unashamed love that you have for me and um, I enjoy your presence uh, just as you enjoy my presence uh, when the Holy Spirit comes down and visits you and I do in person sometimes too um, unawares um, you enjoy my presence and I enjoy your presence um, in fact uh, a couple of times in your life you felt that I've been sitting next to you and spending time with you one on one and I have been there because I love to hang out with people who love me and uh, love me for who I am not for what I can do for them um, love me because they want to become a bond servant of mine a slave uh, servant that will serve for the rest of uh, their lives uh, me with all their love and all their devotion and I, I just love you and uh, your ticks have gone up to six ticks and uh, you're just a tremendous uh, individual and um, I wish the world was full of Heidi's I, I wish the world was full of people like you um, I wish I could teach people how to be like you I wish there was a book I wish you could write a book on how to be like you are uh, and teach the world I, I um, back to Matthew now I, I feel that um, you've got a teaching gift um, that God has given you the ability to teach and I feel that um, the world would really benefit out of a book uh, written by you on some uh, section of the faith how to live a laid down life how to live a humble life an intimate relationship with Jesus maybe you could just start with articles or just chapter titles and uh, produce a book but um, Jesus loves you so much he just adores you you're just a treasure uh, in his heart and um, I, I hope uh, that this blesses you um, I'm, um, I'm very happy to have met you and um, I'm asking all the people from over in Perth to um, give Karen some detailed feedback uh, on the prophetic word and their email address so that I can um, post it on my website so people are encouraged that I do accurate words so could you spend some time and write me some feedback and uh, you'll be interested that your ticks are up to nine now so you're not more than four times the people you're nine ten times the person that many people are because there's so little of you 
and there's so much of God and uh, there's just so much of the Holy Spirit in you and um, yeah, he just loves you. Um, God bless.